Kind day to you all, I am Kinsmark, and this is Let's Play Elite Force, an indie FPS game I came across on Game Jolt. Apparently, aliens attacked Earth, and humanity fled into the stars, and then the aliens chased us there, and the conflict continues. I haven't seen any gameplay of this, so I'm curious to check it out. So, let's see here. Credits website, terminate program. Enter central hub. Alright. I can assume that is the actual startup screen. Credit to them already, that's kind of a charming main menu. Alright, statistics. Uh, oh, cool, I can actually control myself here. So, donate! Okay, maybe tone it down a little. That's That has a place on a game's description page. Maybe not in the game itself, that's a little obnoxious. Alright, let's see here. Recent promotions! Uh, I'm assuming those are credits to the developers. Probably. Breaking news! Disruptor forces have attacked four cell supply carriers. Civilians are starting to experience the effects from the lack of food and water. Sort of like me, sliding down the stairs. So, yeah, okay, cool. So, alien invasion, attacks, all that sort of stuff. The hell was that? Alright. Uh. Elite force, feel free to. to I have to let it scroll. There we go. Note to player, thank you for playing Elite Force. You are welcome. Feel free to record your experiences and upload online. I am, or post your thoughts on my Facebook page, Fractured Games, Okie Dokie. Again, call that sort of stuff from the actual game. Like, including it on a main menu is one thing. In the game, though, all it's doing is reminding me of the fact that I am in a game. We need a hero! I just saw that up there and I couldn't not. So anyway, immersion. You're hurting for it. A lot. So, exit, training, all right, cool. I acknowledge that this is sort of a, where's the, interactive main menu of sorts, except I just came from that, so that excuse flies only so far among the stars. Oh man, those textures, okay, oh hi. Pew pew, pew 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 pew. Uh, sir, your, your AI is a little lacking. Come on now. Are they... Are they shooting, like... Green... Like, sandbag things at me? Alright. I can only assume, since they are, uh... Giving off green gore... I'm either... Whoa. Slaughtering captive aliens used for training purposes. Or it's, I don't know... Coolant for training drones. Sure. Alright, so, this this is how to fight, I guess. Are there any other- okay, alright, F throws a grenade. Cool, good to know. Um, do I have a melee? Not that I can find. The hell? I- I think I just vomited my own soul, cause... Hang on. Is that what happens if I die? No! Alright, I can't tell the hell happened there. That was just creepy, because it really seemed like another person just sort of came out of me. Alright, yeah, can I can I not do this? This is this is simple combat. Um weapons, trait hand cannon, I'm not sure I'd call it that, considering the lack of punishing power it has. Light rifle, um move away to close okay. Traits, damage speed and health increases. Equipment alright, ammunition, grenades, pulse grenade, time grenade. Traps, fire and electric traps, revivals. Alright, cool. Um, can I just... Can I leave? Can I actually get to the, the game proper? M maybe? How, how do I not this? Can I actually do the game? Seriously, how do I not continue on in training? Can I just... Yeah, there we go. Return to hub. Cool. Yes. So, yeah, news. We need a hero. I need a hero to the end of the night. Cause you think this song is about action? No, it's about getting laid! I need a hero! Seriously, that's, that's what that song is about. Oh! Exit means the game, not the hub. Alright. Also, I could log into Game Jolt and get achievements. I just, I, nah, ain't ours to do that sort of thing. Can I actually do the thing that all of these alert things, except for all the donates and Facebooks, and please check us out, and yeah, that right there. There we go! Or about. You can 
view your battle statistics live on our holograms, change game settings, view your special challenges, and any other general tasks. Critique for the humor there. That joke really overstayed its welcome. It needed to get truncated about three lines shorter. Because all I could feel in my soul at that moment was just... Miming Aaron Hansen just... <laughs> Dan! It could, I mean... Claptrap this guy ain't. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. A5, 520. Right. So... Briefing. Cool. That's this. Story. Oh god, there's more. Please don't veer from the script, seriously, because your annotations are cringy. Who am I? Who am I? I'm Protocol Droid oh. AS-520, but you can call me no name available. What? I'm your personal service guy for your time on this station. That's the fancy version of talking man. Yeah. I don't matter. Fun fact, you're my best friend. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be right here, all the time, forever, until you die. I want to, because good God, you're trying so hard to channel Claptrap, and I'm surprised your faceplate ain't dented, because you're falling on it real hard. Alright, um, can I actually do something? I thought this was like the mission start screen. Uh, um, uh, oh, there, good, that, okay, cool. Select difficulty. Um, recruit, enemies will fight, challenges limited, difficulty select, uh, what, what's wimpy? For those who are new to first person shooters, okay. Hero! Uh, won't go down without a fight. Time your shots, reserve ammo. Mm hmm. And then there's elite. Enemies relentless, will kill you quickly, be fast and aware at all times. Alright, let's just go with recruit for now, because I don't know exactly the sort of difficulty scale this game is trying to set for itself. I just know it's trying to channel a certain attitude that's. <sighs> Critique as well-meaning as I can phrase to the writers, it just doesn't have the chops for dialogue writing to deliver upon. Let's see here. All right, wave number, HP, full control. I, I'm. This is a wave combat game. Are you serious? Enemy counts, money. Okay, cool. You know the drill. Kill or be killed. Use the support station to teleport weapons down from the force zone. Uh huh. And remember, don't die. All right. I can't say fighting an alien menace come to kill us all from the stars is exactly the premise I'd expect of an arena combat wave survival game. Because this just seems like, let's just teleport into the middle of an enemy compound and shoot as many of them as converge on me. Because screw objectives, am I right? Like, actually fighting to accomplish something? That's for the friggin' infantry. Nah. I'm elite special forces, man. Hi. You look an awful lot like... My not friend up there. Alright. So this, I assume, is the... Oh, V to melee. Cool. The tutorial didn't teach me that. I'm glad the game does, though. Alright. So you guys are palette swaps of the guys in the training thing, so... I'll assume I'm just murdering captured soldiers. Because that's a thing humans do. Actually, it is. That's that's sad. Uh oh, that was the first wave. Let's just cue the next one. Yep, yep. Come on, come at me. I apologize if I'm coming off as kind of harsh about this game. It just uh, feels really derivative. Cause 
Wave Survival is a pretty standard genre at this point, and... Adequately put together, though, this is. I'm just not seeing a whole lot of innovation upon the genre formula. And, again, critique to the story here. Like, honestly, objectively. The story presented thus far doesn't mesh well with the mechanical format of the actual gameplay here. It doesn't really feel like that's an adequate setup for this gameplay payoff to that narrative. So the narrative feels really... I guess just stilted? I mean, let's see here. Craft a weapon. Alright, I haven't got any money, I don't think. So I can't do that. Oh wait, I do. So, wait, what are credits? Are credits the revival things? I assume so. Anyway, I haven't had much issue with these guys, so... Let's just keep on fighting. At least there are a few pallet swaps available. <laughs> And their projectiles are uh, apparently moving through an incredibly thick atmosphere on an alien planet incompatible to that of Earth. Even though all the flora looks exactly like Earth. Because otherwise, for a spacefaring people with technology capable of traversing the stars, I couldn't come up with any semblance of adequate explanation for why their projectiles are comparably slower and therefore less effective than actual conventional firearms of modern day. For the love of God, you claptrack knockoff. Stop talking. Alright, I have monies. Can I use the monies for the- oh, there are only- uh, oh, there are actually several. Alright, for a second I thought it was just those. So, light rifle. Yeah. Um, health I don't really need. Speed increase. Ooh, damage increase. Yes. Give me that. And grenades I haven't really used all that much. Um, I think I'm good on ammunition. So, yeah. Let me get... Uh, one full revive? Does that give me a credit? No. What did that... Is that just automatically going to kick in if I die? I can't tell. I assume so. Alright. Pretty... Pew Pew Star Wars sounding audio there, and these irons are awful. <laughs> Alright, at least it has custom reload animation. There we go. So, I'm having a hard time coming up with any commentary at this point, because. I mean, it's fairly self evident. It's just generic wave survival with. Aliens that don't look like aliens. They're just dudes in laser tag armor. Special round. Are there climactic encounters? Need I fight? Oh, I heard a thump. Did something airdrop in? Oh, it did. Hi, you're large. Hi there. All right, you have like a gas grenade rifle thing. And your posture is a little fun. Hey, I've seen you. I saw you in a game recently. Yeah, that's the exact same alien model as the one in Project Wake. It's just colored differently. Alright, I assume that's like a stock Unity asset or one available on the Unity store? I can only assume a cheap one. Alright, ooh, hey. Ammo crate! Free stuff! Uh, select appropriate weapon to pick up uh, that. More damage! All the damage and some speed, because I like going speedy. Gotta go fast, like Space Sanic. Alright, let's freaking do this! Get it started! New enemy type. Are there actually creature varieties? I might have introduced them a little. Oh, it's the stock Unity Spiders. Okay. So. Again, like. Critique as. constructively as I can because I hate to just come across as completely negative. I like for the critiques that I present to actually have a point to them. So, games like this that are clearly using a lot of standard assets and aren't doing much presentation-wise should, I think at least, for a creator that's trying to establish themselves as one 
of credibility, of creativity, of value to the industry later in their career. If you aren't able or can't afford to introduce custom models and sounds and textures and all that, then you can introduce and innovate new mechanical aspects for your game. Show off what you can do, what you can innovate on, what you can add to conventional standard genres or into innovate your own, instead of just creating another by-the-numbers wave survival game like this that, honestly, they're a dime a dozen. Like, it's, it's adequately put together, a little clunky though it is. I just can't say it's anything special. How does this stand out from the many others of its kind on Game Jolt, on Ichio, on Steam? Because answering that question is what will get you somewhere, is what will cause gamers and developers and publishers to take note of you, to want to see more from you. And so I can clearly say that there's an adequate level of creative proficiency here, because I haven't come across any glaring glitches, I haven't really seen all that much in terms of issues with the lighting, because I'm assuming pretty much everything in this game is either stock or cheaply available for some market or another. Let's see. I think I need some more health. Yeah. So, do that. Can I get a new gun yet? How do I unlock this? Oh, unlock it three credits. How the hell do I get credits? Apparently, I have a couple of them now. I don't know how I'm getting those. Uh, hmm. I don't really care about the rest of this. And I'm doing all right. The Abolisher. Pulsar wave. Sasha! Who touched my gun? Um, so I guess I'll just continue increasing my stats, because that's all I really can do. Alright, cue next wave. Hello, could you all please proceed into Alien Hill? You know, wh whatever goes on in there. Is, I'm assuming tentacles are involved, because aliens. I mean, you know, I guess hey, your, uh, your skirts. Kind of getting in the way there, hampering your motion a little, ain't it? Yeah, kind of like your little cephalopod-looking element. There we go. Like, all the story setup that this tried to give itself isn't really aided in the fact that I'm not doing anything! Like, I... <laughs> analyzing the scenario displayed here, honestly, is... I completely disregarded all semblance of tactics and safety, I am apparently a super valuable soldier, sent alone, sans objectives of any kind, save attrition against a stellar level enemy, therefore one could pretty much say, effectively endless, to just fight them the old fashioned way, one at a time, on foot, and assume they aren't gonna just artillery level the area. Because, like, I'm not saying that a Wave Survival game can't have story. I'm just saying that something like, say, you know, Clone Drone of the Danger Zone, that sort of thing, or I can't come up with any other good Wave Survival, like an arena-style thing, where the contrivance of the story is that you are in an arena, a closed environment, fighting waves of enemies for some reason. Because that's easily conjurable. Like, one could come up with many different variations upon that story. This, however, is trying to make me out as though I am an elite military operative combating an alien menace for the survival of all humanity. And attrition ain't the way to go about that, especially if you're trying to set this in the space age. And again, these projectiles move really slowly. Like, I guess that's to probably circumvent the fact that their aim is probably dead on, so that if projectiles moved at essentially an instantaneous speed, they would seem as though they have aimbot. Making the projectiles move slow enough for me to see kind of gets around that and makes it seem as though 
their aim isn't actually as sharp as it probably is. He said as he watched them shoot in the opposite direction. Never mind. I rescind that. I don't know why the projectiles move that slowly. Because I can just sort of juke these guys at close range. And they ain't doing anything to stop me. Oh, that's right. I have a melee attack. Can I? Yeah. yeah. Pouch! Pouch! There we go. Cool. Y yeah, thanks. Okay. Have I have three credits? Yay, I do! I'll get an assault rifle. About as generic a name as you can get. So, yeah, cool. Alright. Next wave. Special round. I think this is my last wave. Confront a boss. Whoa, that's large. Test out the new rifle. Oh, it's this guy again. So it's the same enemy. That I can just mag dump into the face of. And Space Rambo, huh? Hmm. Right. Anyway, um, maybe I'll give it one more round, because that one was over in a pitifully short amount of time. Anyway, yeah, cue the music! It's making me feel like I'm actually doing something. Uh, hi. Yeah. There we go. Have they all had voices, or did that just start now? Headshot! Are you really? Are you... Alright. I guess that matches the cringy tone of... Shut your clap trap. Okie dokie. Oh, hey, hey, could you not? Seriously, it sounds as though... This is actually a critique here. The audio on these guys has seemed really faint unless I'm standing a foot away from them. So something about the locational audio is off. Alright. The, the cringy... This ain't Unreal Tournament. The, the narrator... Headshot! Needs to not. Just not. Let's see. So I suppose, concluding the critique of this, I can see the clear proficiency of actual. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Oh, I apparently completely superseded my last gun upon acquiring this one. So, cool. Challenge. Melee for finish. Smack. S smack. 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 Come on! Come on! Get him! Get him! I'm about to die. Come. Hey, I win. Cool. Anyway, I'm just gonna, yeah. Reward mission. Yeah. Anyway. Critique. Final. Um, adequately put together, that's a problem. <laughs> and uh, I suppose I can just condense my critique down to this lacks the je ne sais quoi to set it apart. Because it isn't doing anything different. It isn't innovating. It isn't even stylistically trying anything new. It's not innovating mechanically because it can't, or can't afford to, or just chooses not to innovate aesthetically. It just feels very generic, and I can only praise assembly quality so much. So, I would like to see more from these developers. I just urge them to indulge in more creative risk-taking. Take more chances. Do something different. Stop spamming me with donate boxes. Because it comes off as... <sighs> Screw it, I'm not going to phrase this politely. It comes off as desperate. It comes off as though that is why you're creating this game. Even if it isn't. Because I get it. Creating something because you love it is something that you want to do as an occupation that you want to do professionally. And the rent's gotta get paid, the food's gotta get paid for, the air and the lights have gotta stay on. I know that, I get that, I do that. I just don't do it through creating games, I do it through creating videos. So I get that, yeah, you need to get paid. I'm just saying that in-game, even if the story is as flimsy as this one is, is, one should still 
at least pretend that immersion is part of the experience because part of having an interactive main menu hub like this if you're going to not have uh, access to the missions and all that from a conventional menu system if you're going to make it an interactive thing like this the point of doing that is for immersion's sake to make it seem like you're not just selecting things off of a menu like you the character are in this place are choosing to do and see and check these things that's why something like this is put in so spamming the things related to the you know other side of the curtain of the game from inside the game just reminds me reminds me even that i'm playing a game it takes me out of it and it causes me to question whether this was created solely to attract donations and funds i acknowledge that probably isn't the case it's just hard to not let that thought enter one's mind if that is what i'm seeing every 30 seconds so i do wish a lot of luck to the developers of this game because again it's clearly well put together it just lacks character so i think that's where i will leave my critique of it um let me know in the comments if anything gets added to this if there are any changes uh because i'd happily take another look at it or at another project from these same developers so i'll leave a link to this in the description of this episode check it out if you guys are interested thank you all kindly for watching and as always i wish you all good game and godspeed